Well, in just about 45 minutes, Charlotte County will show off a new high tech piece of equipment that will help train firefighters. Yeah, this is pretty cool. So Fox 4 Morning News anchor Chris Shaw is getting an early look at this over in Punta Gorda this morning. So Chris, how does all of this work? Well, ultimately what this does and what it will do is help firefighters do their job more efficiently and more confidently. And ultimately, if there is some kind of disaster at some point at an airport, hopefully it will save lives. So we are inside the simulator right now. It's designed to look like an airplane. So if you think of the inside of an airplane, I guess this is where the passengers would sit in a jet. We are in first class right now, but the things they can do in here are just remarkable. We just had a demonstration minutes ago. We can't do it live on camera because of the flames and it wasn't entirely safe to do live, but what they did was they showed us an experiment where say gases build up at the uh, top of the ceiling of an airplane. If there's ignition, that can cause a flashover, and what that does is shoot flames down the length of the airplane all on the ceiling. They can test that here. They can show firefighters what's that, what that is like and how to fight that kind of fire. We're going to take you through here. We're going to go up into the cockpit now because they can simulate fires on wings, fire in the engine on the outside, but they can also simulate a fire here in the cockpit. So the pilots are here. There's some kind of disaster. Something goes wrong. Flames start shooting out. Firefighters learn how to deal with this. Now, I have some video I want to show you from the outside of this airplane so you get a better idea. Now, every firefighter who lives in an area or works in an area where they have to uh, patrol a airport has to go through this kind of training once a year. And this particular sim simulator uses an iPad. With just a few touches, it can set a fire anywhere, on the wing, anywhere inside. And while firefighters train, safety monitors can control where the fire goes, how hot it can get. Only about 25 planes in the U.S. are this advanced. Only 25 simulation uh, facilities are this advanced and this realistic. So the seats are the same, the aisles the same, the cockpit's the same, the dimensions are the same. So technology has allowed the manufacturing side of it to bring us a more realistic um, item. And then electronically, it's, I mean, we, we run it like an iPad. So here's something else to think about. This is what else makes this unique is before this facility here in Charlotte County, the closest facility like this where firefighters had to train every single year was in Jacksonville. It cost a lot of money to go up there and spend a few days off of the job to train once a year. This allows them to train closer to home and it also allows them to get more training so they can be more efficient and more confident. Now, this did cost a lot of money to build. We'll take you through that process and the six year process it took to build this facility. But we'll also tell you how the county plans to make some of that money back on Fox 4 Morning News at 9.